The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time Jesus went home with his disciples, and the crowd gathered again so that they could not even eat. And when his family heard it, they went out to seize him, for they were saying, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we look at the human life, all of us, one or the other day, experience some kind of rejection, resentment uh, from the others. Sometimes our goal, our orientation in life, what we want to achieve, the focused attitude of ours irritates the others. Sometimes there is a tendency to pull us down. If you look at the world and the great achievers, one or the other way, they all have experienced rejection, rejection by the society, sometimes by their family members, sometimes by those who are closely associated with them. When we face with rejections, misunderstandings, there is always a tendency to give up. There is always a tendency to give up and reroute ourselves into something else, totally different one. Today, the Gospel speaks about this aspect. When you look at the Gospel, it is just two sentences for today's reflection from the Gospel of Mark, the early ministry of Jesus himself, who for 30 long years, he was into a particular place, in particular culture, particular situation, doing completely a different job and meeting the needs of his family. Suddenly, after 30 years, he moves out, moves out to be a preacher, moves out to fulfill the will of his father for what he came to earth. And this irritates the others. When you look at the probable reasons for this rejection by his own family members could be like, come on, this man for 30 years had a secure job in the secure place with his family and friends. Suddenly he is going out. What is he up to? Therefore they would have come to drag him back to his own work, the traditional work of carpentry. Secondly, if you look at the reason that they would have tried to pull him out, he is because of the gang that he belonged the friendship that he entered into, a fisherman, a carpenter, going and joining with the band of fish, fishermen, trying to establish something, it would have looked foolish for his fellow brothers and sisters. Come on man, what are you going to do with these uh, fishermen? And you are going around with them to do things. It is impossible. Better you come back home. The other reason could have been, whom was, whom was Jesus attacking? The crowd that he was attacking was a powerful one, power lobby crowd, the high priests, the Pharisees, the scribes. This was the crowd that Jesus constantly attacked. And there was a threat to life of Jesus. And this was probably one of the reasons they would say that Jesus is out of mind, better let us take him back so that his life may be safe and our families to be safe. And again, the family would have thought, he is claiming to be the Messiah. 30 years he had totally a different life. What is he trying to do? Better let us bring him back before our family reputation goes. And fifthly, and finally, there could also be a moment of jealousy in the family members. Come on, our man, this person from here, going to become somebody great. Better bring him back here. 
let him remain with us and die with us. Dear friends, if you look at this entire attitude of the family, that one or the other way they wanted to bring back Jesus to his own place and tell him, come on Jesus, this is your work, you do it. But the attitude of Jesus, he never stopped there. He was convinced of what he was. He was convinced of what his ministry was. He was convinced where he was supposed to head to. Nothing could stop him, nor his family. Because of his conviction, he chose that disciples who were the least in the society to upgrade them and to use them as the means to proclaim the message of love to the people who were rejected. And here, Jesus himself becomes a person who is rejected to understand the pain of those who are rejected. Today in the society, dear friends, many of us, one or the other way, we are rejected. Rejected by the others because of our faith, because of the faith that we hold on to. Sometimes we are rejected because of the convictions that we are ready to face the situation. Sometimes we are rejected because we have chosen a differently, a total, totally different lifestyle altogether. People reject us. Sometimes people reject us because of our belief system of forgiveness of our enemies. There may be various reasons why people reject us. In those moments, the role model to all of us is Jesus, which is beautifully presented in the gospel today. Not to give up. If you are convinced, if you are convinced to, to, to do the will of God, no rejection will ever stop us. As we partake in this Holy Eucharist, in few minutes, this world broken here becomes the flesh on this altar and that flesh comes into our hearts to give us strength to accept the rejections and move on in life with courage and hope. Mary, our mother, mother of perpetual help, is constantly stands by us like she stood with her son Jesus to guide us, to support us and to intercede for us. May our mother pray for all of us. Amen.